what happens when you take it. Apart from springs away from the world. So now we are bringing them back because Coco has demanded that all his sheep friends be put in the same paddock as him. We couldn't believe the eruption of noise that came from Coco. Oh, Coco! He started running towards us and we had to turn around and bring the sheep back. <laughs> Coco's so happy! Coco's mum was a 13 year old pregnant breeding cow. She still had reasonably good life living in beautiful pasture, but she did have all her babies taken from her. We knew we were saving her life and also saving that calf's future. It was a lot of hard work getting her to trust us. <laughs> She'd never really had contact with people, so we spent a lot of time and a lot of hay trying to become friends with her. Wow. Look at her butt. Once the baby arrived. We were so excited. <laughs> yeah, massive butterflies. We had success. It was pretty stressful, but we got Kukwam on the other side. It was so nice that after all those years, she got to keep her baby yeah. the first time ever. When Coco was born, all the sheep were with Amelia. So for Coco, they've always been there. They're his family. Mm -hmm. Percy and Coco definitely have the strongest relationship. The first time we witnessed Coco and Percy play was the most gorgeous thing I'd ever seen in real life. When Percy plays with the sheep, he smashes them. They push each other around like boys. But with Coco, he was really, really gently. He was aware that Coco was a little calf. It's adorable to see them create friendships themselves. And actually, it's almost a problem. <laughs> because we can't keep them all away from each other. Only yesterday, we put the sheep in a drier field, and Coco was in another field. Oh, oh my gosh! And Coco comes running down, jumps the fence. Is he alright? So we're still learning every single day how deep their love is. It's gorgeous.